Hello, and welcome to this video from Zenitel. In this video, we will show you how to configure a SIP trunk in an AlphaCom or ICX system. SIP is a standard for voice over IP telephony. The ICX and AlphaCom uses SIP trunking for interconnection with external telephony equipment, such as SIP IPBXs and call managers, analog telephone gateways, and mobile telephone gateways. There are three major configuration steps. First, we need to check the filter's settings and the presence of a valid license. This is done via the web interface of the system. Secondly, a SIP trunk node must be created, and routing must be defined between the intercom application and the SIP trunk node. This is done from the Alpha Pro configuration tool. And finally, the prefix to dial out on the trunk must be created. Alternatively one can create SIP extension numbers making it possible to call without the need of a prefix. The first step is to check the filter settings and the licenses. Log in to the web interface of the system, and go to System Configuration and Filters. The SIP trunk is using UDP port 5060 for signaling, and a range of ports for audio. Make sure these are enabled for the Ethernet port used by the SIP trunk. By default these ports are enabled for Ethernet port 1. Now go to System Configuration and Licensing. Verify that there is a valid license for SIP trunking. The number of licenses indicates the maximum number of concurrent calls on the SIP trunk. The next step is to create a SIP trunk node and define the routing between the intercom application and the SIP trunk node. Start the Alpha Pro configuration tool. Press the plus sign to create a new node. Enter a descriptive name of the remote SIP gateway or PBX. Enter a node number. For SIP node it is recommended to start with node number 100. Set type of node to SIP node. In an Alphanet system with several ICX or AlphaCom nodes, you need to choose which node the SIP node should be related to. In a standalone system, you leave it at default value 1. Set the SIP node to be used for SIP trunk, and enter the IP address of the remote SIP gateway or PBX. The class of service defines what features should be available for users calling in via the SIP trunk. The content of the class of service is configured from the class of service window. Preferred codec should normally be set to G711U or G711A. Now select the ICX or AlphaCom from the node list. In Net Routing, select Insert, and pick the SIP node. In the list of data links, choose SIP link. The remaining fields are automatically filled in. That concludes the Net Routing configuration. Next step is to create a prefix to access the SIP trunk from an intercom user. There are two methods to choose from. Two-stage dialing, also known as overlap dialing, is typically used towards SIP gateways. One-stage dialing, also known as n-block dialing, is normally used towards PBX or call managers. When using two-stage dialing, a connection to the gateway is established as soon as the prefix is dialed. Successive digits are sent one by one from the ICX AlphaCom to the gateway as SIP DTMF signals. The SIP gateway will then forward each received digit out on the phone line. The prefix for two-stage dialing is included by default. In the directory list, scroll down to feature 83.
Here you will find that directory number 0 is a prefix to SIP node 100. The directory number or the node number can be changed if required. Then we'll take a look at one stage dialing. When using this type of dialing, all digits are collected in the ICX alpha com. When the dialing is finished, the complete number is sent in the SIP invite to the PBX. Prefix for one stage dialing is not included by default, and must be configured manually. In the directory list, scroll down to the default prefix, number 0. Modify the feature number to 81. Enter the SIP node number. In the parameter 2 field, enter the maximum digits in the phone number. When dialing a shorter phone number than specified here, one can terminate the dialing by pressing the M key, or wait for the 3 second dial timeout. Finally we will look at how to create SIP extension numbers. This will make it possible to call remote extensions without using a prefix. In the Users and Stations window, select a free user. Set the user as a SIP station. Enter the SIP extension number and a caller ID. In the related to trunk field, enter the node number of the SIP trunk. When you now dial the extension number, the call will be routed to the SIP node specified. Finally you need to upload the new configuration to the server. The first time a SIP node is created, a reset is required for the settings to take effect. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit our web pages at zenitel.com, and our wiki pages at wiki.zenitel.com.